Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on it's a long range weather forecast discussion for January 8th to 22nd. For January 8th to 12th, the flow remains progressive across the country with the flow transitioning to a western ridge and an eastern trough. And we still have above normal heights here across Canada and green, near Greenland or south of Greenland. And we have a trough here uh, near the Aleutians. Now, um, during this forecast period, we will have a series of Pacific uh, systems that will move into the Northwest with their frontal boundaries extending into the Northern states. And this will bring precipitation to the Northwest. Then we look to a system of more importance here across uh, the Southern states right here. Let me go back to this. And this would be developing, and this could bring an area of snow to the southern, the central uh, Mississippi Valley, heavy rain to, to along the Gulf Coast states. And then we it tracks eastward and brings um, some snow possibly to the um, par parts of the lower Mid Atlantic region and the mountains of the central Appalachians. And then it moves out. So, um, then we're going to go, there's another thing I want to look at here as we go forward. Okay, we missed this system for the Northeast. Then we have another system developing in the Gulf Coast over the weekend. And this is a GFS and then that moves out. Then we have the next system. And that is a little bit closer to the north. And that would be like about next Friday around the 15th. And it could be snow or rain, marginal. Here's the five, where's the 540 line? I don't see it. I think this is it right here. 540 line remains to the north. So it's, wait a minute, I just think I saw it. I think it's right here through central New Jersey. So it's close. Now that's the, um, the GFS. Then we look at the European, which doesn't go out that far. This is the European deterministics, European ensembles. Doesn't really pick up on the, on the system as well. And then we look at the uh, European ensembles. It doesn't have the system. So the GFS, again, seems to be the one, the system that is more progressive with the system as we go through time, but we'll have to watch that. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for January 13th to the 17th. And the flow remains unchanged from the previous period. We still have our trough here. Ridge across of the west or above them heights in the west. Much of Canada and um, the high latitudes. And we have our trough here in the east. Now, um, models are good agreement with this. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for much of this region. And I'm forecasting anomalies of near four degrees above normal, below normal temperatures of forecast here with anomalies of two degrees below normal for precipitation. Call for above normal precipitation for the Northwest southeast and lower mid-atlantic region and the probability of occurrence is uh near 40 percent and now for the last period this is for january 18th to 22nd and i think this is where we might really start to see a change in the overall pattern what we've been talking about since uh the last couple of weeks maybe about the uh, sudden uh, stratospheric warming you can see here we still have very strong positive height anomalies near Greenland, ridge in the west, our trough here. But um, during this period, um, some of the models have the trough dissipating near the Aleutians as this ridge takes over over the eastern Pacific. And we'll have a trough in the east, and this will bring colder air in. Now we're going to look at the maps. So for this forecast period, we're forecasting above normal temperatures for the west and the plains. And for now, I'm being a little conservative. Some areas are showing 12, but I'm calling for anomalies near 8 degrees above normal, below normal temperatures of forecast for the east. And 
anomalies are 46 degrees below normal are forecast it's still not as extreme yet we'll see how that goes as we go to the end of this month and beginning of february and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for much of this area here probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent and then we have above normal precipitation for most areas east of the mississippi river and the probability of occurrence is 40 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for january 8th to 22nd thanks for coming jim munley's world of weather and have a good day